have you ever thought about priesthood? I say this now as I celebrate my sisters and brothers who are priests in the Episcopal Church in Delaware. I say this because you may be called to priesthood. There may be something the Spirit is saying to you. Or the Spirit may be saying to you, keep your eyes open and look about. To be a priest is to be a connector, and it's to help people see Christ at work in their own lives, to see the gifts of the Holy Spirit that they have given, been given to them, and to help them know that they are beloved by God, and to be willing to share that in this world that is at such a frantic pace, and that cries out for good news and hope in the midst of challenges in this life. Being a priest is, first of all, um, the greatest gift that I feel like has ever come into my life. Um, it involves a lot more than I think what people see on the surface. I remember I told my brother I was going to be a priest, and he said, you're going to have the easiest job ever. All you have to do is work on Sundays. And um, I tried to... I tried to explain to him, it's so much more than Sunday. I'm not sure he gets it yet, but um, for me in the call that in the season of my priesthood that I'm in right now, I think there's a few things that are happening. One, I'm like learning to be a priest because I'm new. I'm just coming up, not even I'll, in September, I'll be ordained a year. And so much of it has been um, learning to have that presence at the table, learning to have the presence in the pulpit. Um, some of those basic things that I think surround what it means to be a priest, preaching, teaching, and pastoring. Serving as a priest in my particular context is beautifully varied. I get to be the rector of a congregation, which means I get to roll up my sleeves and be an administrator. It means I get to do liturgy planning and preside at liturgy, which has its own blessings and banes. But in my particular context, it also means that I get to be the chaplain and the president of the board to a day school community. And so these get wrapped up in all of the other sort of standard priestly things like pastoral care and sacramental celebration and that sort of thing. But in my context, they all get balled together in a sort of a yarn that is just beautiful. So many different textures. Now, one of the questions that I have heard pretty much uh, all the time that I've been a priest is, um, how were you called? And I always tell people, well, I wasn't a Samuel. <laughs> you know, maybe more an Isaiah. Here, here, here I am, send me. It's, and at some point, I had the sense that this is, this is really what I want to be. But that does change. I mean, what brought me to seminary, for example, is not what kept me there. And when I left seminary, what I learned in seminary didn't always, you know, prove <laughs> to be all that helpful. <laughs> there, there, were, there were other things, and my call came as, as I began to interact with life itself. Um, and in a sense, we're always called. Um, every morning, every day, you're called, I think. I had a, a sociology and anthropology degree, so I ended up working with the migrant farm workers here on the shore and as a house parent for troubled boys. And in doing that, I just felt like something was missing. And in that missing and just discernment, I decided to uh, pursue uh, uh, discerning whether that was a call to something else. And um, and I got into it with the sense of really trusting God, saying, I'll keep going as long as you get, you know, if you give me green lights, if you give me a red light, I'll, I'll know it's time to get off. And 
Um, I had to do discernment differently because I was the only woman <laughs> in the diocese and uh, the, the bishop's daughter at the time. So, so I went other places to do discernment and it wasn't always the easiest path. But, but um, you know, I don't know how you know for sure other than just trusting and putting yourself in that space of just walking uh, in discernment. My calling to the priesthood was inevitably caught up in the very first experiences that I had of rapturous acceptance, being loved and known that I was loved for who I am and not who I was supposed to be or needed to be. Just being me and being loved for me was such an amazing experience I didn't have any other response. To be a priest means a few things to me. Firstly, um, it's somewhat simplistic. It's preaching, it's teaching, it's pastoring. And Sometimes I think I should have this great complex answer, but for me, it really just comes down to those three things. Uh, priests generally work in parishes or in community ministries where they're helping to bring people together and marshal the presence of the Holy Spirit in a collective way to do the work of the gospel, to not only share the good news, but to help connect people to the good news in a very real way in their own life so that they can bear it out to the world and bring it to other people. The priest is a preacher, is a pastor, and is a priest. A preacher to proclaim the word of God to the world, a pastor to bring hope and healing to the world, and a priest to administer the sacraments, those visible signs of God's love in the world. All of these things are encompassed by priesthood. Uh, you know, an evolution of, of, of spirit, I think, uh, to experience what your call is at any given time. It's a humbling, really humbling um, vocation, and I, I do not take it lightly, the, the privilege that comes with it um, is, is big.